Yo, what's up everybody? Jumping here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the most overpowered item in Red Dead Redemption 2. This thing is by far the best item in the game. I've seen other videos where people have said that other items are the best item. Those videos are crap because the actual best item is the Legend of the East Satchel. This thing is overpowered, and it is amazing, especially if you can get it early in the game. Now, if you have already beaten the game, you could just buy this satchel from a fence. It costs like $170, and you don't have to do any of the work to get it. But honestly, if you've already beaten the game, you really can't take full advantage of having this satchel because this satchel is amazing, and it's so overpowered. What it does is that it allows you to hold 99 of pretty much every item in the game, which means that you can actually hold up to 99 potent miracle tonics, 99 horse stimulus so that your horse will never run a stamina it is crazy it's also really good for looting because if you don't buy 99 of every item that means that you can just loot everything now and you don't have to always be full on every item that's what happened to me on my first playthrough and it drove me insane i love to loot things and i always had maximum items and it just really really was a downer so having this satchel allows me to loot everything and i just love doing that now, I definitely recommend getting this early in the game if you can. If you're just starting out, that's perfect. But if you've already beaten it, I actually do recommend starting a new game and then get past Chapter 1, get early into Chapter 2, get Pearson's improved tools, and then go and get the satchel. Also, maybe do the money glitch if you want to do that. If you don't, that's fine. But take advantage of the money glitch while you still can. Make a save. And then in the future, even years from now, if you want to go back and replay this game, you can just load up that save and then you have the most overpowered item and you have a lot of money to start the game. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get started. Now you're going to need a lot of perfect pelts. I'm going to give you a list right now on what you need. So I actually recommend writing this down or maybe you can use my video as your guide, but you're going to need seven deer pelts, two elk pelts, one rabbit, one badger, one panther, one squirrel, one buck, one raccoon, one bison, one boar, one iguana, one beaver, one wolf, and one cougar. So those are all the pelts that we need. Now when it comes to the weapons, right away at the start of chapter 2, go to the gunsmith, buy the Springfield rifle, the vermin rifle, some shotgun ammo, and then go and hunt some birds. The best way to hunt birds is just go to any river. There's going to be a lot of ducks and goose and stuff like that. Just kill them, get the flight feathers, and then make some small game arrows and also make some improved arrows. Now, some of the satchels you will not have the recipe for right away. One of the things that you need to do is bring five animals to Pearson. So you could kill some animals and then bring the bodies to them. Normally, things like squirrels and small birds stuff like that rats you can give them all that type of stuff they're easy to carry because you just have to put them in the satchel and you're good so that is what you can do to get that out the way another one of the things you're gonna have to do is craft three items at the scout campfire now that confused the hell out of me the first time that i actually did this i thought it meant that i had to craft items for pearson but no you actually just have to craft items in general at the scout campfire the scout campfire is going to be the one closer to the exit, not the main one. And there you can craft items like ammo or food. That's what you need to do. It's very easy. Do that. Get the recipe. And remember, you should have actually wrote that down for what I said, all the pelts that we need. Because we're going to be hunting the animals primarily in two areas. But we're going to be looking out for these animals on our list. Because these are the ones we're trying to get the perfect pelts for. And then bring them back to Pearson so that we can make all of these satchels. Alrighty guys, we're coming up on our first area. This is going to be west of Strawberry, and this is one of the best hunting grounds in the entire game. We're going to be able to get so many of our pelts here. It's pretty crazy. Now, if you're just starting out, I recommend taking the train to all the different stations, going to the different stagecoach areas. That way you unlock them. You can take the stagecoach anywhere you want at that point. It's really nice. You definitely should do that. Also, if you do want to buy the ledger, I forgot to mention this, you do need to do Strauss's deck collecting mission first, then you can buy the improved tools for Pearson, and then you can actually make the satchel. Now, the first area is going to be just down here, because this is where you can find beavers. This is definitely, in my opinion, the best spot for beavers. You'll find a ton of them. There will be some on this side and on the other side. 
So if we can't get a three star one on one side, we'll go to the other side and hopefully we'll find one three star one. Now against beavers, you're going to want to use the vermin rifle and you want to always shoot the animal in the red spot. There is a two star beaver there. Now I definitely recommend studying the animals. If you haven't studied them yet, study them to check their pelts and see what they got. There is a three star beaver. So this is going to be tricky, but he just turned his head on us and I popped him in the face. So that should be a three star pelt. The main thing is as long as you kill them in one shot, using the right ammo, so against a beaver, it's the vermin rifle, 22, then you will get the perfect pelt. But you always want to look. It's a waste of time to go after anything that doesn't have the three-star pelt. So now we have the beaver pelt. It's that simple. Like I said, if you don't see one on this side, go to the other side, and there should be one on the other side somewhere. And normally there will always be one three-star beaver. Now we're going to continue on and see what other animals we can get. Now, if we do come across any rabbits, we will try to get a rabbit. But rabbits are actually really easy. Use the vermin rifle against rabbits. That's one of the main things. But also, you don't have to hit a rabbit in its head. You just don't have to do that. Now, one thing I'm going to do right now is actually I am going to pull out my rifle. Because this area is a cougar area. Now, the cougar normally only comes out at night. But it is possible for this thing to come out during the day. So we need to be careful because I don't want to get ambushed. So let's see what we got here. There are some squirrels, so I need to check them. But my auto-aim is trolling me right now. Let me go ahead and... Whoa! Why are you shooting me, man? Chill. I'm checking the trails right now to see was any of those three-star squirrels. They were not. Okay, you need to go somewhere else, dude, because I that was an accident. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to aim at you. That happens all the time, unfortunately, when you're hunting, at least when I'm hunting. I always hunt from horseback. I really never get off of my horse. I'll be honest. It's just something I don't do. All right, there's some ducks there. I just ran over something. There's a raccoon, but that was only a two-star raccoon. So that's no good. Like I said, be careful in this area. This is the area right here. I'm going to actually show you on the map. Right here. Okay, there will be a cougar here a lot at night. Drinking from this little river here or stream. So if you need the cougar... Come here at night, and you should find one right here on this spot. So that's one of the easiest ways to actually get the cougar pelt. Anytime you need one, is just come to this spot, and there should be one drinking out of the water, and you can actually get it before it will even notice you. So that's a really nice tip, but I'm not worried about that right now. I'm just worried about it not sneaking up on me because it can be out here during the daytime. And we also do need to watch out for bears as well because bears can be out here and... It's really not the black bear that we're worried about. It's more or less the grizzly bears that we need to worry about. Because those are the ones that will actually come after you and try to kill you. And if you don't get a headshot on them, you could be in trouble. So we need to be careful. So there's going to be a lot of deer here. But also we can find elk here. And we can find a couple other animals. Like the raccoon can be here. The squirrels can be here. There's a lot of different things that we can get here. I don't have my list in front of me. Otherwise I would know. I could look at it, but I'm not going to bother. Now, there are some pronghorn deers, but we don't need them. Okay, we have an elk, and that is a good elk, too. So we're going to chase this one down. Like I said, I always hunt from horseback. I know a lot of people might not want to hunt from horseback, but I'm sorry. It's just so good and easy, in my opinion. So this is just like how I prefer to hunt. See, all you got to do from horseback is get up behind them, and then bam, just pop them right in the face. Remember, you can always hit them in the red area, and with a big animal like this, what will normally happen is it will fall over and it will die, but you might have to stab it or you can just let it bleed out, but you'll actually lose honor. Now against a big animal, you can always put your horse over the dead body and that will actually shorten the time of the carving because that can take forever a lot. Okay, but for whatever reason, I can't freaking carve this thing because of the horses in the way. Oh my god, okay, let me move the horse slightly because it won't let me carve it. Now, when you do get one of the three big animals, because remember, we need two elk. Okay, yeah, this is all messed up. But we need two elk and one bison. I do recommend maybe going back to actually turn these in right away. You can also get another horse. If you have an extra horse, you can take the extra horse with you. And then you can actually have one horse follow you. And then the other horse is the one that you're riding. And you can actually store two things. Okay, this is 
This is horrific. Like, uh, can you just put it on the horse, man? Come on. I'm doing a video here. There we go. Finally. All right, so now we got that. Like I said, it's a good idea to maybe go turn that in right away unless you have two horses because we can definitely get a second one. Now, against elk, you do want to use the rifle. That's a good thing that I actually had that out when I did. But look out for the elk. You can find them in this area pretty easily. Now, it's becoming night, so you got to look out for that cougar. That cougar's going to spawn now. And we can actually set this up so that we can get it like right away. I might actually do that just to show that. Now, there's going to be a lot of these pronghorns here. Also, wolves can be in this area, so look out for them. You do need one wolf pelt, so keep that in mind. And we can find raccoons as well. But this entire area, this entire place is a wonderful area for hunting. There's so many animals. We do need a buck. That's a one-star buck. We're not going to bother with him. Just look out for all the different deers because if we can find the buck, that would be great. Or if we can find a normal deer, that's good too. Just looking out. But there's just so many of these pronghorns here. Here we go. Some normal deer. That's a three star. So against deer, normal arrows are your best thing to use. So that is the one star. There is the three star. Let's catch up to this deer. And then we're just going to pop it in its face. Back of the head. Got it. All right, so that's one deer. I'm not going to skin it. I'll be honest. I'm not going to waste my time because I don't want to make this video like three hours long. But let's actually catch up to these animals, see what they are, because we are looking for more deer now. These are all pronghorns. You know, you could be killing these things if you want to collect the pelts, turn them into the trapper, or you can just turn them in wherever you want. You can actually give them to Pearson. You do need some stuff. Oh, that's an owl. Hold up a second. I actually want to kill that just because. I'm sorry, guys. And I need to study it. So I'm studying that thing because I did not have that. And let me pull out the vermin rifle. I'm assuming that's what I need to use. Pretty much there's a rule. Okay, not there. That was in the head. Oh, is he dead? I think he's dead. Okay, I got him. It didn't actually show me the kill shot, but whatever. That works. But I have a rule. And, I mean, it's pretty consistent. It's just how, like, the game is. Anything that is smaller than, like, a muskrat... Yeah, anything that is smaller than a muskrat, you need to use small game arrows on. And anything that is bigger than a beaver, <laughs> then you need to use arrows on. And anything bigger than, I don't know, a boar, then you need to use the rifle on. So that's pretty much the rule in terms of like how you want to go about killing the animals. So like a squirrel, oh, what is that, a buck? Yeah, it is a buck. Like a squirrel, for example, you want to use small game arrows on, where like a rabbit and a muskrat, you want to use the vermin rifle on. Oh, we have a rabbit. Nice, we have a rabbit. Hold up. Let me stop my thought there. Now against a rabbit, let me show you what I'm talking about. So you see how there's red on the body? And we need to be careful with this. Messing this up right here. Okay. Right there. I almost shot it twice. But you can cancel your dead eye if that happens. Just quickly cancel it when you accidentally mark it twice. And you should be good. But because it died from one shot. That should be a three star. Unless I accidentally did shoot it twice. Let me see. No I got the three star. There you go. So now we got the rabbit out of the way. But what was I talking about? Yeah, it's just like my rule. So if you follow that rule, anything really small, small game arrows, anything uh, that's kind of small but not super small, vermin rifle, and anything that is like a medium size, it's normally going to be normal arrows. And anything large, generally the rifle is your best bet. All right. So I am going... Oh, that's another elk, isn't it? I think it is. Ah, it's not three stars, though. That one is, though. See, if I... Whoa! Okay! Hello! Oh, no! Do I have the vermin rifle out? I think I do. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. What rifle do I have out? It's the vermin rifle. Okay, we're gonna need to go with improved arrows then. Improved arrows should work! Get off of me! Get off! Alright, come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Right in your face! Now, improved rifles is not the way I recommend taking out a cougar. It does work if you get the headshot, 
But the normal rifle or the Springfield rifle is, in my opinion, the best. And if not that, poison arrows, if you have them, now those are pretty rare, but if you do have poison arrows, that is a fantastic way of actually taking out a cougar. So those are your three best methods. But in my opinion, the improved arrows aren't the best just because a lot of times I'll accidentally not get three star pelt. I will not hit it perfectly in its face. So it's just something I noticed. I, I messed that up a lot. But that was a close call. But as you can see, the cougar will spawn in this area. But you can actually get it to spawn at that river if you do it right. You just need to camp. Like you get to this area, camp, make it night, and then go back to that river. I'm going to show you again on the map. So, oh, see, that's why it attacked. I'm on the river. I didn't even realize that. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong river. It, it would be this one right here. It, it normally is like right here, and it will be drinking from the water. So, yeah, I mean, that's like the best thing. It's drinking from the water, so you're able to just get it while it's drinking, and, you know, you don't have to worry about it attacking you and killing you. All right, so I think we're good in this area. Let me check my list real quick, because this is the area that you can get elk. You can get a lot of deer here. You won't get the boar. You can get the beaver. That's important. You can get the wolf here, too. Now, wolves are pretty common. You can find them in a lot of different places, but you can get wolves here at night. They normally will spawn around the trapper, like somewhere around here. You'll find wolves, squirrels. I'm not going to bother getting a squirrel, but you can get squirrels here pretty easily. The buck, as you can see, you can get that here. And you can get raccoons here, but you can get raccoons from the other spot as well. All right. So now let's go actually go to the other spot because the other spot is going to offer us a lot of the other animals because this spot is great. You can get a lot of the animals here, but the other spot will have some of the unique ones that we need there. Alrighty guys, well here's the second spot. This is going to be south of Rhodes and it's a Civil War battlefield. So once you get here, you can inspect it and it will put a little marker on the map for you. But as you can see, there it is. It's really easy to find for the most part. But this place is going to give us quite a few animals. Now in the last place, I forgot to mention this, you can also get boar there as well. But this place is really good at giving us badgers. You can get raccoons here, which you can get them in the last place too. But there is an American Badger 3 star, so let's go. The badger can be very annoying to find, so let's get him real quick. No, oh, cancel! So you gotta be careful about that, you gotta cancel... Okay, thanks, horse. But you got to cancel that if that happens. But I got three star out of that, so that's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, be careful. So just click in the stick again to cancel that, and you are good. But there is the badger. The badger is one of the most annoying ones, in my opinion, to find. There's a couple other annoying ones, but the badger is up there. And I'm just glad I was able to get that so quickly because it shows that this is a great spot. There's a lot of badgers here, though. There's another one over there. It's only a one star. But what we need now is a boar, and we need a raccoon. We can get that here. There should be a lot of boars here. I hear them. I just need to now find them. Okay. I can't actually track. They're over there. Let's, let's go get one. We should be able to find a three star normally in a group of boars. So there is the one star. There is another one here. That's a one star. There was another one on the left. I don't see him now. Okay, there's a deer somewhere up here. It's a three star. So maybe I'll try to go get the deer, but I'm probably going to lose it. Just because I have no idea where that deer went. And I don't really feel like following the tracks too much. Yeah, these are bad boars. I'm going to give up on that deer. Now, once again, you can get the buck as well in the other area. But you can also find the buck in a lot of different places. Any place that you find deer, generally you'll find a buck sometimes. So once again, just use normal arrows against the deer or the buck. Same with the boar. Use normal arrows against the boar. There is a two star. And I hear something. I don't know what that was. Probably was a badger. Okay. There's a muskrat there. That was a three star. I would get that, but I don't want to waste time for the video. Okay, now I need to find where I'm at because I completely got off track. But let's go ahead and go back down there. And hopefully we can find a boar that's three stars in this area. But remember in the other area, you can get a boars there too. 
Boars are pretty common. In fact, boars are all over the place down here. You can find them everywhere, so they are pretty easy to find. Okay, the auto-aim is strong right now. Sometimes it drives me crazy. I mean, I, I like having auto-aim. Sometimes I hate it, though, because it's like I'm not trying to aim in that spot. I'm trying to look somewhere. Okay, I think I'm going to have to give up. What's that? A rabbit? I'm going to have to give up probably on the boar because I think they all disappeared. Okay, now let's go ahead and do something because this is kind of important. We got the badger. During the day, you want to look for the badger. That's probably your best time to find the badger is during the day. But at night, we can get a couple other animals in this area. One of these animals, I got to be honest, is really scary. It's one of the worst animals, probably the worst animal in, in the entire game to hunt. This animal is just so scary, but we need to make it night. Now, when it's night, we can find raccoons because raccoons are nocturnal, just like the cougars. Like the cougars, the panthers, they're nocturnal animals for the most part. You can find them during the day, but they normally like to come out at night. And, well, possums and raccoons... They are also nocturnal, so you have a much better chance of finding these animals at night than during the day. Now, in this little battlefield area, we can find raccoons here pretty easily. But where we're going to go for the panther, which is the super dangerous animal that I was talking about, you can also find raccoons over there as well. So if you don't find them here, you can go over there. Now, before you actually hunt the panther, I 100% recommend you save your game because that thing can kill you now you can use the rifle our improved arrows against the panther our poison arrows as well oh we got more boars that's a one star and there's also skunks i'm pretty sure skunks are nocturnal as well they generally only well they do come out during the day but you see them a lot more at night than during the day so knowing these things about animals definitely does help you hunt in this game because you know where to look and you know when to look. All right, I don't see anything right now. Oh, there's a wild boar that was three star. Just got to get track of him. Okay, got him. Let's go ahead and hunt him down now. Now, boars can be really fast. like And they like to circle a lot. So it actually makes it easier to get them though. Because they like to turn like that, the arrow... It makes it so easy. The second they turn on you, like he just tried to do on me, like you can just get him in the head with dead eye. Obviously, dead eye is like super important when you're hunting. It makes it so much easier. But yeah, now we got the boar. So that's out of the way if we were trying to get this satchel. And I mean, so far we're doing pretty good. We only got one elk, but we could have actually got two elks there. You know, if I would have had the second horse, I would have got both because there was more three star elks in that area that I found. The buck, we're still missing that. And of course, we would have to get a lot of deer, but deers are everywhere, so it's not really a big deal. But we got the beaver. Oh, what's that? Is that a badger? Another badger that's three stars. See what I'm saying about this area? I know a lot of people hate hunting badgers, but this is definitely the spot in my opinion. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the panther now because we can find raccoons down there as well. Pretty much right by this house here, that's where you'll find the raccoons. But from where we're at now, it's going to be just south from this location. Now, this panther can be anywhere in these woods. So just watch out because this thing can sneak up on you. All right. Now, let's go ahead and try to hunt down this panther. Now, your best method of killing it is to actually use improved arrows or poison arrows. Poison arrows are probably the best because even with a body shot, it should die in one shot. And if it has a three-star pelt, well, then you'll get that perfect pelt. But if you don't have them, improved arrows will do the job. And if not, you can always just use the rifle. I am going to use the rifle because I just feel like the rifle is going to be the easiest way to take this thing out. Like I said, panthers are scary because the chance of you actually seeing it before it sees you is really low. So there's a good chance this thing is going to sneak up on us. And remember, you want to make it night because when it's night, you're going to have it come out. A lot more than during the day. It can be out here during the day, but it normally will spawn at night. And I don't know if this thing likes to hide in the trees or what, but I just know that whenever I'm hunting this panther, this thing always seems to sneak up on me. 
a couple times I've been able to actually find it, like just roaming around, and I was able to study it and stuff like that. But it's rare. Now, as you can see, right by this building here, the one I showed earlier, you can find skunks, you can find raccoons. So this is a great spot for finding them if you're looking for them. All right, let's roam around this wooded area to see if we can actually see this thing. Definitely use your eagle eye in here. One thing I really can't stand about hunting, at least when it comes to tracks, I don't really like tracks. They annoy me. I don't like following them just because it throws me off. There's a three-star deer apparently here. But one of the reasons why I'm just kind of against it is because it's kind of ridiculous that you have to first, like, spook the animal before they'll make the tracks. This is something I've noticed. Like, I won't see panther tracks. It just, it won't happen. I'll see them if, like, I encounter the animal, then I run from it and come back. Then I'll see the tracks. But it's not like I'll be in this area and then I'll see, like, the panther tracks beforehand to know exactly where it's at if it is roaming around here. Is this something that like never really happens? Like the animal like generally has to see you first and then start to run from you before you'll see the tracks. And I just I just don't like that. I just think that's kind of ridiculous. But anyway, oh it's on me. Okay, see it snuck up on me. I told you it would. Oh wait, no, that's a snake. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> you gotta be careful, man. In this area, it's really spooky. Now that could have been the panther. You know, that's the truth. Because like whenever this thing like tries to attack me. What it's going to do is it's going to hide behind the trees. That's what it does. And it just makes it so scary, dude. I mean, there's a lot of, like, horror videos and stuff of Red Dead Redemption 2 spooky moments in this game. And there's a lot of them, don't get me wrong. But to me, there is nothing more spookier than hunting this panther in these woods at night. Because, man, whenever it comes up on you, it is so scary. I have jumped so many times in these woods. And there's a chance I'm just not going to find it because i have a friend i was telling him to come here to find the panther and just like me a couple times there's been a couple times where i've been looking for this thing and i literally swear that it did not spawn i'm like it's not in here oh there it is no that's a boar <laughs> oh man that looked like a panther for a second man i'm sorry but yeah i mean like i have roamed around here for like 10 15 minutes and i'm like oh it's it's not in here it's not in here. And then all of a sudden, whoa, you know, it just like scared the crap out of me. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's it. Okay, we got to be quick. Come on. No, no. Ah! Oh, no. Okay, that's not good. It's going to hide behind a tree now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we gotta be careful about where we aim. I hope that was the headshot. <sighs> okay. And we got it. We got the perfect as well. Oh my god. Woo! But yeah, there you go. It's in the woods, but it will see you probably before you will see it. Unless you get really lucky. But it's in here. You just gotta keep looking. And yeah. If you really can't find it, and I mean you really can't find it and you think it's not in here, it is a good idea to maybe leave the area, camp, rest like a whole day, make it night again, and then come back. That might work. All right, so now we got the panther pelt that we needed. So we're almost there. I still don't have the buck, but I don't really think I need to worry about getting the buck or the wolf because they're so common. You see them everywhere. Same with the deers and all that. And the squirrel. Squirrel's really easy. Remember, with the squirrel, you want to use small game arrows against them because that's what you want. All right, so now let's go get one of these things that you have to go somewhere else, okay? Now, this is really not that bad because right from this area, we can get the iguana skin that we need. The iguana skin is actually going to be located around roads. It's going to be west on this island. Now, a quick note about this island. On this island... You can get the pirate's sword. No, you can't get the pirate's sword, but you can get the pirate's hat here. You can get a pirate's sword from, I think, one of the other islands here. But you can get the pirate's hat from this island right here. But on this island, there's going to be green iguanas. So we need to go over there to get it. Your best way of getting over there is come over here to this spot where this little dock is and then steal a boat. That's really your best way. Look for people in a boat and then go in, take the boat. How you want to take the boat? 
is up to you. But you need to take a boat and then go to the island. Don't try to swim it. You can make it. I know it's possible, but there's a good chance you're going to drown. So I'm going to cut this video ahead, and I will see you guys in a moment. Alrighty guys, well I could not commandeer a boat, there just wasn't any out here, so I'm going to show you guys a trick if you are interested, if you can't find a boat, there is a way to get over there on your horse, no problem, just go to this island up here first, so that's what we're going to do, now if you're going to try this, you should probably use a horse stimulant, now because I already have the Legend of the East thing, I can hold 99 of these, which... That's one of the reasons why you want to get it, because it is amazing to be able to have 99 of those. And then you can never have to worry about your horse running out of stamina. But we're going to just swim on over to this first island. And like I said, I believe one of these islands has the pirate sword. I actually need to get that. I haven't got either the pirate hat or the pirate sword yet. I didn't even know about the pirate's hat until my friend told me about it. And he told me that it was on this island. And I was like, oh, I've been to that island. And that's where you get the iguana skins. All right. So as we're going over here, we need to look out because we might see an iguana right away. And there's one right there. But it was a two star. So we're looking for the three star. There's another one here. There's a three star. Now vermin rifle for these things. All right. Let's just get on them because I don't want to take the shot like that. But you definitely want to use your vermin rifle for an iguana. And let's try to get the headshot. Whoa, I missed. Insane. There we go. Got the headshot on him. So now we can go ahead and skin him. And we are pretty much done here. We can leave, but we can also go and get the pirate's hat. I guess I'll show that real quick. I should be able to see it on the map. Because I am going to grab that before I leave this area. Let me see. I, I don't know if it's marked. No, it's not marked. You can also find crabs here that I think are unique. You can only get these crabs here. Now, against the crabs, you want to use small game arrows. So, if you do see them, use the small game on them if you want to collect them. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. We're looking for a pirate ship, I believe. And the hat is going to be inside. It should be on the other side of the island, maybe. But that's all we need to find is just the ship. So, let me look around real quick and see if I can find it. Okay, I do not see it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so it's right here in the middle, and inside of the ship, we're going to find the pirate's hat. And like I said, I believe on the other island is where you'll find the sword. It's going to be in a small boat, though. All right, let me go ahead. There's the hat right there. I can see the thing. I just need to find out where it's at. Where's it at? Like, I seeing that I can pick it up. Okay, there's a lockbox here, too. Uh, oh! Is it over here? I thought it was over on this side. So I've seen a video of this. Uh, I guess it's just down. Okay, it's just down here. I don't know why that was popping up like that. Because it was telling me I could grab it like through the wall there. I thought that was like a chest or something right there. Now, where's that lockbox at? Oh, it's right here underneath. Okay, let's pick this up too. See what we get out of this. I'm pretty blind sometimes. I just can't see stuff. Eh, okay, you get some pirate rum out of there. That makes sense. That's really nice. That can fortify your stamina. All right, so I am going to make my way over to these other islands to check them out, see if I can find the sword. I'm not going to show that because that could take a while. I have no idea where it's at. So I'm going to find it. And when I do find it, I guess I'll cut the video ahead just to show you guys since I'm here anyway. So yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to cut this video ahead and I'll see you guys in a moment. Alrighty guys, well I found the island, but it wasn't the island that I was thinking of. It's actually this island over here. Let me zoom out the map. But this is the island. I knew it was an island, so I just figured it would have been one of the islands next to the pirate's hat. But it's actually over here. So let's go get this real quick, just because I talked about it. I brought it up. I said I was going to show you guys, so why not? Okay, there are a lot of alligators here, so we need to watch out. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Ain't nothing more OP than shotguns with incendiary ammo. Like, oh my god. It is so good. You know, in fact, I'm thinking about making a video showing you guys how you can get incendiary buckshot early in the game. 
but also like how to get like two amazing shotguns so like, you can get the rare shotgun and you can get the semi auto shotgun like right away at the start of the game and if you get incinerary ammo with these things they are insane and if you have the legend of the east satchel you can actually go and buy 99 moonshine and then craft a crap load of the ammo but here it is right here the pirate sword is in this boat on this island and yeah i mean that's freaking awesome i mean i definitely wanted to get this eventually so there you go i got it in the video all right so we got one more animal that i need to show you guys how to get because everything i've already talked about the raccoon i haven't got yet but i showed you that you can get it from the first spot and the second spot I didn't get the squirrel, but you can get the squirrel from the first spot really easily. And there's a lot of spots you can get squirrels from. But now we need to go and get the bison. That is one that is definitely unique. There's really only one spot that you can get it early in the game. And I'm going to show you how to actually find it because it can be a nightmare at times actually finding the bison. Alrighty guys, well it looks like I got lucky because the bison are right in front of me and this was going to be the first spot that I was going to check because this is probably the best spot, I'll be honest, they seem to be here the most, but this is right next to Emble Ranch, this is the Heartlands, if you need to get here just take the stagecoach to Emble Ranch or the train, and the bison are generally going to spawn in this area right up here. Now, the easy way to find this is you have the train tracks, and then it kind of makes a cross with the road. So just look around this area, and you will normally find the bison up here. Now, they are herd animals, so they normally will move together, so you will only ever find them together. So if they're not in that area, what you should do is check up here where it says New in New Haven, and if they're not there, check down here in the Heartlands where it says that, because normally they will be in one of these three spots. But it seems to me most of the time they are up here in this area. So we have two options here. We can sneak up on them or ride them down good old American style. I think we're going to ride them down because that's more fun. But I really feel bad for hunting bison because there are no more bison. But I, this is literally how people used to hunt them. They used to go out and just kill the entire herd ride them down on horseback, and just shoot them. Red Dead Redemption 1 had probably the best bison killing moment because that's exactly what you've seen. Just a bunch of guys on horseback, riding down bison, shooting them all. And it's just messed up, man. But yeah, I mean, they were very valuable animals just because of their horns and their pelts and all that. People just wanted all that stuff. So they just hunted them down until there was no more bison. And it's just sad, man. But anyway, we only need one, so we're going to get the bison pelt. Now, this is a large pelt, so whenever you get a large pelt, you should probably bring it to Pearson right away. Same with the elk pelt. Now, remember, you could actually have an extra horse with you. And the way to do that is to get a second horse. You can tame one or just have one hitched away, and then you go to the stables, and then you grab a horse, come back, get your hitch horse, and tell it to follow you, basically. That's what you do. You just have a horse follow you, and then that horse will stay with you the entire time, and then you can go ahead and get two large pelts that way. Now, in this area, you can also get buck. You can get deer. You can get rabbits. You can get squirrels. There are squirrels here, and raccoons. So if it's night, you'll see a lot of raccoons in this area. So this is another good spot, and there's probably some wolves around here too, but I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to pretty much do it because now all we would need to do is go and turn all these pelts in. You donate them to Pearson and then you can go ahead and craft all the satchels and then finally craft the Legend of the East satchel. So, yeah, that's how you get this thing. And it is amazing. Like I said, it's definitely the best item in the game just because you can hold 99 of pretty much every item in the game. That is insane. That allows you to loot anything you want that's really nice i love that it also allows you to have 99 of the most powerful items in the game like the miracle tonics and also the horse stimulants i mean you could just go to town if you want to have 99 of everything which is kind of like overkill you don't really need that but it is an amazing item so i really hope that this video has helped because i really tried hard to show you the best spots for finding all of these animals easily 
But I would really appreciate it, guys, if you could like this video for me. Be sure to subscribe for future videos. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and peace.